Hey, welcome to another Chin Wag. I'm happy to be with you this evening, and it is the day after Thanksgiving. It's hard to believe that now we are very close to Christmas. So today's Black Friday. I didn't even begin my shopping yet. I got too many other things going. And um, but you know, at Thanksgiving, I hope you had a good time with it. Uh, we went to my wife's house, uh, my wife's parents' house, probably about an hour away in a little city called Nakusa. And um, so it was a nice time. And <clears throat> you know, I, I always enjoy spending time with family. And even at Christmas time, I've oftentimes have said that even if the family was okay with just ditching all the gifts and hanging out together, I'd be okay with that. Um, just the fact that we can all be together. So I'm a little casual today and I'm wearing my <clears throat> hoodie here. It says, Life is Good. I love this brand. Um, they're a little pricey, but they have a nice hoodie uh, material and uh, just a comfy sweatshirt. But what I like most about it is the saying, Life is Good. And um, I really believe that. Now, I, and I have this sticker located on the back of my truck window as well. It just says, Life is Good. And, you know, I... Um, there, there's that verse in the Bible that songs have been made about, and I remember uh, Keith Green actually put it in a scripture medley song, and uh, it says this. It's very, uh, very quite a simple verse. Psalms 118.24, it says, This is the day which the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Now, I know that's, that verse has a lot of cliche moments to it. Um, you know, someone's having a bad day, someone dies. Uh, financial troubles and you say brother sister this is the day the Lord has made I will rejoice and be glad in it <clears throat> and then uh, what happens you want to punch him out <laughs> because uh, it, it turns into a cliche at this at some point but um, at our church I've been dubbed and on Facebook Saint Sunshine and you know I, 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 I do remain pretty uh, optimistic about life and and pretty optimistic about scenarios in life um, and uh, this verse actually doesn't mean a whole lot to me. And uh, so, I, you know, I would suggest, what does it mean to you? How, do, how, how are you having a good day? Are you having a good day? If, uh, if you're not, what steps could you take to make it a good day? You know, we're getting into the holiday period, Christmas time and uh, gift buying and all this stuff and putting up a tree, making desserts, getting the kids ready, blah, blah, blah. And I've always maintained this since probably a couple of years ago. I've, I've told the church, I said, you know, if the holiday season, now I know a lot of fundies are having a hard time with me saying that, Christmas season is getting to be a hard time for you and it's stressing you out. If making those cookies is stressing you out, if putting up a tree is stressing you out, if uh, worrying about all that shopping is going to ruin your marriage, guess what? Don't do it. <laughs> it's that simple. You know, Shane Claiborne wrote a book a couple of years ago called The Irresistible Revolution, and he talked about simplifying and uh, making life a little easier. You know, a lot of us talk about that. A lot of us do these things. But when we're stressed out and we're at wit's end, do we simplify? I have found that the, those who do simplify in life and don't put up a tree or don't get gifts or um, don't make those uh, extra dozen cookies, um, you know, at first... People look at them as a little bit weird, a little little bit awkward, and they even might talk about them. But at the same time, when it's all over and the dust settles from the holiday, people are like, wow, that would actually be pretty nice. That I might actually welcome that. And then you can actually wake up in one of these days before Christmas season and say, you know what? I'm looking forward to a great day. This is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. You know, do what you need to do to make your holiday stress-free and uh, see what happens. Uh, weigh in with your thoughts, info at that'snotmygod.com. I look forward to hearing from you soon. Bye.